everyone, today I'm going to be doing a session in my creative journal. I am in my 2020 insert as such, um, the one that's continuing on. The only reason I'm in this one today is because I haven't got around to printing all the photos off my phone yet for 2022. I think I'm going to try and plan in a kind of like journal organisation day somewhere this week or next week. Basically so I can just print off any photos that I need to and figure out which ones I want to put in where and also catch up in writing the memories in because a lot of the pages I kind of just leave like this and in my other journal as well a lot of those need filling in too. The writing part isn't too difficult for me I actually find it more boring which is bad to say I know um, but obviously I'm a creative person writing and reading isn't a strong point for me which is why I journal creatively so I can journal and enjoy it um, and get the memories documented but in a way that I enjoy. So yeah having you know small space to write means that it's, it's more enjoyable for me rather than just doing pages and pages of writing. The only thing with that is I've just got a bit behind with it and so then it just becomes more of an overwhelming task. But if I can break it down a bit, um, I should be able to catch up with myself. So I think I'll just have a little, little journaling day at some point. But today I am going to be documenting these photos. They are from February 2020. I don't know if I'm documenting all of these today. I might put these ones on one day and these on another because even though I've got... 20th of Feb, 20th of Feb, 19th of Feb, so these are from two different days. They're more creative and these are more like out and about, just pretty photos. I'm going to be using my March collage sheets. I am so excited to use these. I actually might print this one off a bit bigger before I start, just because the frames are dinkier than my photos. I did obviously want them small because I'm using small photos, I'm not doing like big layout, but they are quite small. So yeah, I might just print this one page a bit bigger. So I've got options basically. These are the March collage sheets. I've printed them two per page. So they're kind of A5-ish size. I have found with like the text and stuff and even the background sheet that this size is quite good for me in the standard size TN. I don't need these ones too much bigger. It's just this one I might want to print a bit bigger sometimes. I know I wanted to do a collection surrounding frames because that's just something that I really want to use more in my journals myself. And I wanted them to be fun, funky colours, patterns, different shapes, different sizes. But obviously I didn't want to just do a page of frames because <laughs> I feel like you need a bit more than that. So I just kind of went with the colour scheme, just doodled some things that I, I liked, which tends to be flowers and weather related stuff. Um, so I've got some little raindrops, I've got some rainbows, some clouds, and then a couple of different kinds of flowers. And obviously I've done the little washy strip type things at the bottom as well. It was more of a laid back theme this month. I do love how it turned out and I did get a bit carried away with these flowers where I was doodling on them. And I like how they turned out. I like how the white looks on on the watercolour and then obviously I've lined them with my classic black liners because I like my black lines. So that's what I'm going to be using. As always I do have my various other supplies around me um, including my washi, my scrap paper, my ephemera box which I have now sorted. If you missed that video pop a link up here so you can go and have a nosy. I am going to get started and I will speak to you again at the end of the video.
I am finished with this page. As you guys know, I love my colours. I love it when I can get lots of colours on a page. Obviously, like, having a sort of colour scheme is fun. Like, it still looks good, but just personally, I love a colourful page with lots of colours on. I'm also really looking forward to designing more frames for an ephemera pack for my shop. If you weren't aware of how I kind of roll with the collage sheets and ephemera packs for my shop, every single month I design the collage sheets for my patrons so they get like first look at the artwork. You also kind of get an idea of what's to come on the shop and obviously when the products are eventually on the shop Patrons also get a 10% discount on everything. But doing it this way as well also gives me a bit of a experimental place, I suppose, to kind of play around with ideas, see what I like, see what I don't like, what I might want to expand on for shop products. After using this myself, I know that I want to do more frames. As much as I love mounting my photos onto like little white bits of paper and then a coloured background, having a frame to do that with just saves a lot of time. I didn't need to mount these photos on anything beforehand, I just needed to cut the frames out and then stick the photos behind them and then they're all framed and they look all snazzy. In the background I did use some of the background sheet, I put a little strip down the bottom and then a little corner piece. I did use Used two different sizes of frames. So these ones were from the A4 printout and then this is from the A5-ish printout. I used this from the A4 sheet. The little flowers, I cut them from both. So I have multiple sizes of the little flowers on there. Didn't really use much from the word sheet, just didn't really fancy the words for this page. Instead I used stickers from my sticker stash. So I've got a February sticker, this one says don't forget this. And then down the bottom I've just used some alphabet stickers um, to spell out beautiful. That's how it's turned out. Love the frames, loved using them. So happy I went with that theme this month and I'm really excited to expand on that sort of theme for the shop stuff. I hope you enjoyed seeing this journaling page come together. Thank you all so much for watching and of course, if you are a patron, your name will be on the screen now. These collage sheets are live on my Patreon now. If you do want to become a patron and get these collage sheets to use yourself, then I'll have a link down below. When you join the collage sheet tier, you also get early access to all my YouTube videos and the discount for my shop. There is a tier above it as well, which gets you all of that and then you also get two extra videos a month, which are exclusive for patrons. So. There's options if you fancy it. I hope you all have a lovely day and I will see you in my next video. Bye.